The Russians have lost 1,210 soldiers and 164 pieces of military equipment over the past day. General Staff of Ukraine's Armed Forces said this on Facebook. Ukraine said its forces are fighting an intensifying Russian offensive in the Kharkiv region. Moscow's troops were reportedly attacking Ukrainian positions in the northern districts of Vovchansk, some 5 kilometers from the Russian border, though Kiev said it was holding off the advance. Ukrainian defense forces have successfully disrupted Russian military plans to deeply entrench themselves in the northern urban areas of Vovchansk, according to the General Staff of Ukraine's Armed Forces. Despite aggressive attempts by Russian troops to secure and fortify positions within the city, Ukrainian units have maintained active combat roles and kept the opposing forces under strict fire control. The Ukrainian defense forces have taken decisive actions to significantly reduce the activity of the Russian occupiers, the general staff of the armed forces of Ukraine wrote on Facebook. The enemy's plans to penetrate as deep as possible into the urban area of Vovchansk and gain a foothold there have been disrupted. The situation is under control, he added. Russia began an operation in the northeastern region last week, marking its most significant border incursion since the full-scale invasion began in 2022. People are fleeing the areas of active hostilities en masse in the Kharkiv region, with evacuations underway coordinated by local authorities and humanitarian groups. Russia claims that TOR air defense systems effective in destroying storm shadow missiles. Teams of TOR M2 anti-aircraft missile systems of Russia's battle group East shield troops at the first defensive line and successfully destroy Storm Shadow cruise missiles, the Defense Ministry of Russia reported. Storm Shadow is quite a complex target launched from enemy aircraft. We are warned about that and then we look in that sector, detect and destroy it. The complexity of this target is that it flies at a low altitude. But this TOR M2 system excellently copes with low flying targets. The ministry quoted the team commander with the call sign Balova as saying, Teams of TOR M2 surface-to-air missile systems of Russia's Battle Group East shield first echelon troops and civilian facilities in the South Donetsk direction. Each team has a record of dozens of destroyed targets, unmanned aerial vehicles of various modifications, glide aerial bombs, aircraft and helicopters. The TOR M2 anti-aircraft missile system can operate both in the manual mode with the help of operators and automatically. The system controls the designated airspace on its own and independently locks on all aerial targets not identified by the friend or foe technology. The TOR M2 being an upgrade of the TOR M1. The TOR M2 all-weather system has a range of just under 10 miles according to Russian state media and is designed to fight a host of weapons systems. The TOR M2 can be wheeled or tracked and the later versions can engage four targets at once. The system is designed to operate at medium, low and extremely low altitudes in contested air or jamming environments. According to Russian state military exporter Rozo Boron Export, the TOR M2 is operated by a three-person crew. It is fitted with improved detection radars, allowing for a shorter reaction time, among other improvements, according to the US think tank, the Center for Strategic and International Studies.